the one thing that is kind of consistent with all the books is they all started as songs. And so I'll play a, maybe a couple of songs that inspired the free. Uh, my first novel, uh, The Motel Life, started as songs. And um, Northline became, I wrote a soundtrack for that book and wrote a dozen songs for that sad girl in that book. And then Lean on Pete started as a, a, a song called Laramie, Wyoming. Uh, and then turned into a song that was an eight-minute folk song with n no chorus and no hook. And uh, was so depressing, it made my, my girlfriend cry, but not in the cry of, uh, it was so beautiful, you blew my mind. It was just like, Jesus, I can't believe I'm living with this sad sad. <laughs> so I'll play you just a few songs, and then we'll take it from there. This is a song I wrote for the guy Freddie McCall, the guy I just read about. And I wrote this three years, two or three years before I started the book. And in this version, he's taking care of his mom. And, um, and it wasn't uh, his daughter's. And it was him growing the weed. But you can see just kind of how it starts. It's an angry little folk song. He was 43 years old. Bamber's mother being a home. Paying his ex-wife and kids in a different state He worked at a paint store He mortgaged his home, he was going broke He was going broke He started growing weed Forty plants and more The home got Back, so did the ex-wife, even though she was living with a cop. He'd get drunk and he wouldn't leave her alone. She started calling, begging for more money so she could get out on her own. So she could get out on her own. Well, the road, it goes on, and there ain't no choice. The cop broke her jaw, so his kids moved back home. His mom's riding in the center, and the bills, they never leave him alone. Keeps a lock on his basement door, and he sweats it out alone. And in the evening, Sirens and the helicopters roll And he knows it's gonna Oh, he knows it's gonna He knows it's gonna Oh, he knows it's gonna hit Thank you very much. So while I was writing on the free uh, One of the guys in the band I'm in Married a Danish woman moved to Denmark and uh, so we kind of just stopped playing f for almost two years, I think, year and a half. And so I, I, I thought, Jesus, this will be the time. Uh, we our, The last tour my band did, we toured with a, this woman joined the band, and she's got a great kind of like, kind of like Dusty Springfield if she was just a little raw and more raggy. She's got a really beautiful voice, I think. And, uh, uh, and she got drunk one night and she says, Will, write me a record. And so I was like, Jesus, wouldn't it be fun to be, write songs for somebody that could really sing, which has always been the dream. And I was like, maybe I can just hide in the back, like behind the drummer in the dark, but be in the band still and, and do all the work, which is, I, I like the work part of being in a band. And so I wrote her a bunch of songs and one of the songs I wrote her, surprisingly, is called Colfax. Avenue. I guess uh, I was still thinking about that, but I was thinking about the soldier Leroy. And this is taken from a point of view of a sister whose brother comes back from uh, the milit from uh, from war, and and he's uh, a mess. And so the, this is a song I wrote for her, and we have a new band in that we'll start touring called the Delines. But uh, I apologize if I, if I can't hit the notes, but uh, just think of a really cool woman singing this. 
Don't think of me dressed as a woman. I gave that up six months ago. I got woken up late last night by a friend of his. Said he left the lion's lair with the bloody head. He could hardly walk and just disappear. My husband's asleep. My kids are in bed. I leave a note and start driving up and down. The Colfax Avenue. Stop by the alleys and the liquor stores and the bars they still let him into. He wasn't like this before he left. Now he comes back and his mind's a wreck. In the army, oh, what do they do? My husband's worn out. My kids are scared But he's my little brother And he's out there somewhere Up and down, up and down The Colfax Avenue The nights can be so So cold outside He's just a kid Who's seen too much He's just a kid Up and down So the, the last song I'll play uh, is for, uh, I wrote uh, for Charlie Thompson, the, the, the kid in uh, Lean on Pete. Um, I really liked that kid. He got me out of bed for two years because he was so resilient. He would just get beat up almost every day by something, and he would always get back up on his feet, and I, I needed to be around a guy like that or find that part of me again. Um, but again, I guess... He ends up mowing lawns in this area, and I'm not really sure why I brought him here, but I thought this would be the place that he would end up for at least a couple weeks. Um, so I'll just play this one. It's called The Kid from Belmont Street. And Belmont Street's uh, what kind of where I used to live, off Belmont Street. Just a mixed up kid, well I know Cause I've been there too But you don't know what it means to get into a car People you don't know Just stay here You You fit in some 
nowhere And with someone You just have to wait it out Cause you You don't Know What it means To not trust Anyone It'll haunt you It'll destroy you Just a mixed up kid Well, I know But I will help you out I'll get you out of this